I am Mohammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are continuing our discussion with long chain. In our previous tutorials, we have discussed about long chain with OpenAI, and also I explained how can we use hugging face models with the long chain, and we discussed about that the template, okay, the basic templates. In this video, we are going to discuss about long chain agents. So before going to its implementation, we can discuss why we need agents. So once this is clear, then rest of the things will be very easy. We know that LLM does not have the real time data, right? For example, if we ask something to ChatGPT, maybe like what is the weather in your country, then ChatGPT will say that, okay, I don't have access or I don't know about that, like I train with data till September 2021, right? So that is what usually ChatGPT will say. So using agent, it will provide an option to get the real time data. So that is what actually agents do. So in this video, we are we will be solving one use case, okay? Or we will be asking or we will be trying to see how many more goals did Messi need to surpass Ronaldo's international goal, okay? So this is what we are going to ask to our agents. Okay, so before that, let me go to ChatGPT and let me paste it here. Okay, so we can ask this to um, ChatGPT first. Maybe let me paste it. Oh, didn't paste it. So let me go here. I'm copying it. Let me paste it here in chat GPT. Here. Okay. See what it says? It says, I'm sorry. Uh, it does not have any real time data. The same thing in a different way they have said it. Okay. Okay. So coming to our slide. Now we can do so. Everybody got a high level overview what is what is the use of or why we need the agent, right? Now we can see how the agent achieve this, okay? So we can see that a agent here, okay? Agent has a LLM, under it says a LLM and it has a set of tools, okay? So we define these tools, tool 1, tool 2, tool 3 like that. This can be any number of tools and LLM will get a query or task from the user. Okay. So LLM will understand, okay, about LLM will try to understand this query from the user and it will analyze this tool. Okay, the tool attached with the agents, then it will figure out, okay, which tool has to be executed first. Okay, then it will execute a set of tools. Okay, maybe it will first execute the Google search uh, tool, then it will execute the maybe like some other database fetching tool then finally all the result will be uh, will be like then llm will get all the result then it will conclude this result then it will return back to the user here right so we can see that from the from this architecture we can see that we will be getting a, a query from the user then llm will check the tools so this tools has a option to go to check the internet based on this implementation it can go to get data from the internet or it can be query the database or we can write any custom uh, tools okay and uh, in our case see how many more goals did Messi need to surpass Ronaldo's international goal okay so as a human being we can think what all actions we need to do here first we need to get number of goals international goal that messi has then we need to know number of international goals that ronaldo has then we need to subtract these goals right then only we know that okay how many goals how many more goals messi needed right okay so here also to search to internet there is a we will have a, some kind of a helper uh, tools are there one is uh, that is called the serp api okay so you guys can go and create an account here which is free okay so we will get a api key so using this api key we will able to search in the we can do the google search okay so that is what it says scrape google and other search engines from our fast and easy 
and complete API. So this is an easy method to search Google. So you can go and create a account here. Okay, so I already have an account. Okay, and which is very easy. Like I don't want to show it here. Okay. So, so coming back to this architecture. So here, what what we have discussed is we we have to search in the Google, and first we need to get the goals, uh, international goals from Messi, then international goals from Ronaldo, then we need to subtract it. Okay. Okay. So for that, for the for subtracting. We have like another custom made tool that is the calculator tool. So using this calculator tool, this LLM will subtract it. Okay. Then another question is how LLM will understand which tool has to be called first. Okay. So that is a uh, question, right? So each, each tool has a description. Okay, so if it is a calculated tool, it may be like a mention that okay, this is a tool that is used for the uh, for the mathematical operations, right? So LLM has a access to those kind of a descriptions. Okay, then LLM will figure out okay using this description, using this description, LLM will understand okay, this is the tool for the uh, tool for calculations. Then I have to call this particular tool. All those things LLM will understand that. Okay, so. This method is actually called zero shot react description. So using this LLM will decide which tool has to be called first. Now before going to the uh, further coding part, I can just read the agent. Now everybody knows what is agent, right? Agent has a set of tools, okay, like web search tool, calculator tool, or we can create our own tool. And using LLM, it will decide which action need to be taken place first. So that is the definition of agent. It's not a, a bookish definition. It's a normal definition. Okay. Now what we can do? We can start our coding. Okay. For that, first what we need to do? We need to install. We can write pip install langchain. Okay. Now I can install. I can run. Um, Google search result. Okay, now I can do open AI. I can install open AI. Open AI. Okay. So installation is in progress. Okay, so let me make it clear what we are going to achieve. We are going to achieve, we, we are going to see how many more goals Messi needed to surpass Ronaldo's international goal. Okay, that is that is our question. Okay. So this is done. So next three or four step, this may not be necessary for you guys because uh, this, this may be like applicable for me only because I have all my keys in my Google Drive. Okay, so I want to connect with that keys. Okay, for that what I need to do, I need to first uh, connect with the drive. I want to mount it. Drive dot mount. Content slash drive. So let me mount it first. Okay, it's mounted, so I don't need to do anything. Now, now let me import my sys and this is dot path dot update or append. I can append content drive my drive. Okay. Now append the system path. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to import the constant file. Okay, the constant keys. Let me import keys. Okay, so all my keys are available here. So these, all these steps I have done to get these keys. Now, now we need to create a NVON that is for open AI API key. This can be from the constants I can get open a API key. Now 
we need to one more key that is the surf api api key this is where it will help us to search the google okay i can go to surf api key so these api keys are ready now let me add few more code here okay now we can import agent here launching dot agents i can import load tools this will help us to load the tools then initialize agents now i can import agent type agent type okay now i can import chain dot lm i can import open ai okay something is okay here it is from mm, from agents import Okay, here also some issues. Okay, here also let me make it from. Okay, sorry, that is my problem. Okay, it's done. Now I need to create a LLM. So we have done it in multiple place. You can set temperature as zero. So LLM is ready. Now we need to load the tools. Okay tools i can use load tools currently we are using the the tools that is available in our coming videos we can see one example with the custom tools okay here i have uh, surf api this is i believe surf api then then i can have uh, llm math this is for math calculation then i need to set llm as llm now the tools are ready okay we have the tool is ready now we can create the agent see just just think about this this structure this structure we have llm then tools then we are using the agent so agent consists of llm and the tools okay so here in the agent i can initialize agent i can mention my tools then i can mention my llm then i can mention how i am going to find this agent type agent so you can say the agent i can say zero short react description this is then i can set verbose is equal to we can see how this is going to execute okay verbose is equal to true so this is also done now i believe we have only one single query that is agent dot run okay uh, maybe i can paste already have that okay i already have that uh, something is not right okay so this is i am going to write as of today how many more goals did messi need to surpass ronaldo's international goal okay so let me run this so this will execute the verbose is turned on so it start looking into that okay it says messi need 90 more gold to surpass ronaldo's international goal tally okay uh, it is verbose is on verbose okay it's actually spelling is not correct verbose now let me run it again see we can see that okay so we can see that see how this is going uh, this is the action is search and input is messi ronaldo's international goal so observation is international uh, football argentina star messi has scored 104 goals in 177 and both all time record with uh, all those things now the thought is i need to subtract ronaldo's goal so here we can see that here it knows 
um, 123 goals in 201 games for portugal ronaldo both all time friends record okay so here we got um, messi's uh, goal and it got uh, ronaldo's goals okay now the thought is uh, this is the thought from uh, llm i need to subtract ronaldo's goal from messi's the action is calculator okay so this will since the action is calculator from the tools it will select the math calculator so here in the first time the action is search so it's it, it done the search and this is the observation then this is the thought thought is we need to subtract okay then action is calculator so it will do a calculation like 104 minus 123 so the observation is 90 then the llm thought is okay now this is the final answer then it will return the final answer okay messi needs 90 more goals to surpass ronaldo's international goal tally okay so uh, this is how agents work uh, and to be frank like i didn't check uh, this many goals needed or not maybe some uh, some changes will be there yeah the our goal is how we can implement the agents so that is the agenda of this particular tutorial so i believe it is very clear i will share this um, collab link with my youtube my youtube description please do like and subscribe and please make some comments if it is useful if you have any questions please do make some comments okay thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day bye bye